All right, here we go, guys. A cold, dreary, late December, right before Christmas day here on the North Fork of Long Island. Another boats by the side of the road video. We got a we got a beep here. We're we're in Peconic and uh, we're on Bridge Lane. It's uh, it's a little little hairy. This is basically a blind. Only one person can go over. You can't see what's on the other side. There we go. Luckily, not too heavily trafficked. Uh, we're doing a boats by the side of the road video. Uh, we're gonna hit a few dealerships. Uh, we're gonna hit Albertsons. That's my new boat yard. I winterized my boat a couple weeks ago, and when I dropped it off, I dropped it off by water. I walked into the office, let them know I dropped it off. I did see they had some smaller boats for sale. Um, in their little side lot. So we're gonna go see what they have. Hopefully they're, they're still there, they didn't cover them. If they did, this video is for naught and you will not they will not see the light of day. Uh, we're gonna also be by Port of Egypt where we showed those two Grady's on the last video. We'll see if they have any new used inventory there. And traditionally, you know, the winter time is typically considered the best time from a price perspective to buy a boat. Uh, typically you can negotiate a little better because you know, uh, it's not the time when people are thinking about buying boats. So uh, certainly there, you can't use them right now here in the Northeast. I mean, you can, but uh, it's very difficult. It gets cold. You know, most people pull their boats and winterize them. I'd say 99% of small boaters do. Um, and then we may also hit my old boat yard which is uh, no longer called North Shore Yacht Sales. That's where I kept my boat for years. Uh, the owner, Red, Michael Hughes, sold it to Strong's Marine. He's now retired in Florida. Congratulations, Red. And, uh, you know, Strong's is a big pursuit dealer. And <laughs> because they are right next to the best ice cream shop in the Northeast, or in, in the North Fork, at least, Magic Fountain, if you guys are ever on the North Fork of Long Island, you have to try Magic Fountain, homemade ice cream, it's amazing. In any event, I was at the ice cream shop uh, a couple days ago and I did see that they have some, what looks like used, although very late model pursuits on their lot. So we'll check that out too. I I'm presuming with all three of these places, if we hit all three, um, they will they will have their prices on their website. So for me, that's good. I won't have to call people and uh, try to explain what I'm doing. Just get it off the internet. There's that Regal. We, we did a review on that boat, uh, a, a few boats by the side of the road episodes back. Um, so let's see what we find. All right, a little windy today. Apologies for that. Don't have the external mic on. So we're at Albertsons. It's the first stop. My boat's gonna be somewhere here all wrapped up. I don't know where, but here we go. This is for sale. Let's see what this is. Is there a price on here? Uh, no. Boat, motor and trailer for sale. What kind of boat is this? It's a Palm Beach. Oh, okay. Got an Evan Route 90 on it. This, this is interesting. Lifetime transom stringer floor warranty. I don't know if uh, I don't know if this company's still in business. Do we got a model on this? You know, I'm gonna guess 17, but I could be wrong. But again, this is one of those uh, John Skinner type boats that you can trailer anywhere. Got a lot of open space for fishing. Got a little two-stroke on it. It should scoot with this. Looks like it's got the oil storage here, probably battery on the other side. No in floor storage. A um, couple rod holders on each side, that's nice. Got the swing back seat, which is also nice. A cover for the console. Not sure about the electronics. We'll see what the website says. Little seat in the front. Hey, for, for two people, some storage right up here. Let's see if you can see that. Anchor storage above that couple cleats here three cleats in the front a lot of cleats for a small boat five cleats in total um yeah this is a great starter boat uh and it does come with a trailer it looks like a five-star trailer all right 
We'll go on their website, see what this is, uh, what this is selling for. Again, this would be a nice boat for the bays, backwater, and you could take it out uh, into, you know, larger bodies of water if the if the weather is right. Now, this is a cool little Boston whaler. I don't know if it's for sale though. I don't see a for sale sign. It's a 70, uh, well, it's a 17 Montauk. Um, does not look like it's for sale. Now. If it was for sale, I'm pretty sure this would sell for a lot more than this Palm Beach. And, um, you know, I, I like Boston Whalers a lot, but you can see the, the gas tank is external. Uh, it looks to be about 12 gallons. This one I'm presuming is internal. I don't see any external tanks. And you can also see the way they sit on the trailer. This uh, Palm Beach has a little bit of a higher freeboard, meaning a little safer for kids if you're in it. Um, the trailers are about the same height, FYI, in case anybody notices that. I'm gonna guess the, the whaler has, I don't know, maybe 12, 13 degree dead rise. This looks like it's pretty good dead rise. And dead rise again is the V right here, at the back of the boat. I'm gonna guess 16 on this. See if we can get the specs on it. Um, and typically deeper V boats, more dead rise in the back, the angle of the transom or the, the hull by the transom will ride better. So let's do some research on this. I don't, we'll take a walk around to see if there's any other boats on the lot for sale. But if there aren't, we'll move, uh, we'll move on. We'll take a quick trip across the street to Port of Egypt, see if they have any boats for sale. If they don't, we'll run right to Strong's in Mattatuck. And the model is actually a Palm Beach 181 white cap. It's a 2002 boat. The motor in E-Tech is a 2015 with under 300 hours. I spoke to the owner, Nick. The boat is actually not for sale by Albertsons. Uh, Nick is selling it on his own. He just uses Albertsons. His number is 516-680-1677. He's asking only 15,000 for it, which I think is a great deal with a newer engine. Um, 34 gallons of gas, 19 degrees of dead rise. Uh, so not 16 like I speculated in the video. Uh, really a, a really nice boat for the bays, for the sound. Uh, give Nick a call if you're interested. I like this boat a lot. Uh, we're gonna see some more boats uh, coming up, but I think this was my favorite of the ones we saw today. Oh boy, that, that wind is howling, apologies. So we do have, ironically, a Boston Whaler after I just uh, kind of uh, had not nice things to say about that smaller Whaler, but this is a 98, 18 footer. It's got a 2020 Mark 150 with only 27 hours on it, load ride trailer, 27 grand for an 18 foot boat that is, uh, you know, 22, 20, 23, uh, soon to be 24 years old, but it, you know, it's a Whaler. It looks solid, 18 feet. It has a bimini top. So this, uh, this opens up if you want some sun protection, you can even fold it down, it gets completely out of the way. It's got these rails here again, protection for little kids. Um, and look, if you price an 18 foot boat, it's gonna, it's gonna be three times the, si the price of this. And uh, you know, brand new motor, 27 hours, I'm sure it has warranty on it. Not a bad little deal. Not sure about electronics. Uh, again, a, a flip back seat, seating back here too. It's got a tow bar if you wanna do some water sports. An 18 footer with a 150 will scoot. Um, more seating up here with the cooler. Some storage here. Looks like your anchor has to go in there too because uh, no dedicated anchor locker like in that, uh, in that Palm Beach we just saw. But not a, not a bad looking boat. You know, boat prices are negotiable. Not sure if they will come down because I'm presuming that engine was probably 15, 16 grand by itself. Some rod holders here in the back, no rod holders on the side. The, this is a very thin walled hull. Uh, it does give you a little more fishing room inside uh, because the, the gunnels take up less space. Two piece design, there's no cap over it. Looks like a lot of storage under here too though. I'm sure this opens. Yeah, it does. There we go. And there you see they have their life jackets. They have some engine oil. They have bumpers. But you, I would set that up for for uh, maybe a, a cooler or a fish box or something. What's in here? Aha, uh -huh. access to your 
you know what? This is a two-stroke. It's not a four-stroke. I just saw the oil tank in there. It's an Optimax. I didn't think they still made Optis, but there you go. This is a two-stroke also. And again, this is probably lighter than a, a four-stroke. Um, and yeah, this boat, 1998, was not made when four strokes were in vogue, so you you probably, uh, it, it, it probably is a little more weight sensitive than a newer boat. A little bit of spider cracking here, it's just cosmetic dog, nothing, nothing to worry about. Again, a relatively shallow transom, hard to see under the boat. Uh, so not gonna ride the best. I don't think these smaller whalers have a, a really great reputation for their ride. But similar to that Palm Beach, if you want something cheap to get out in the water, um, this is something that would fit the bill. All right, let's head back to the truck and now we will take a quick drive across the street and see what uh, Port of Egypt may or may not have. And we can see these guys are right on the water. There's Platonic Bay. Way out in the distance is the Green Lawns. Uh, it's a really big boatyard. I believe that ah, could be Spellman's. They are one of the largest. I don't know if they're the largest for Spellman's is, but Grady White dealers here in the Northeast. So this is a nice dual council. Grady, no for sale sign on it though. Although, you know, it's on blocks on winter, uh, you know, uncovered. I'm, it might be for sale. What do we got here? Oh, this one's for sale. A 215 Aqua Sport Explorer. And I gotta tell you, Aqua Sport is one of my favorite brands of all time. Uh, just a old school, well laid out, well thought out uh, fishing boat. And they made these Explorer models and they made them in different sizes. And these are just some of my favorite boats. It's gonna have a nice little cabin. It's a true walk around. So not an Express. An Express, the cabin would come out farther. Um, you could walk to the front of this. Some of these had the forward cushion areas. I don't know if this one does. Hard to see. Oh, it might. I can't see that high up. I have the extender on the on the GoPro. Um, but again, young family, you want a spot for the kids to get out of the way. You got cooler fish boxes on either side, uh, seating for two at the helm. I'm not sure about electronics. Yeah, there's a North Star unit. That's an older unit all the way up there. And the engine, I believe this is a 150. No, 200, and Ox 66, Saltwater Series 2. So those of you that know boat engines know that this is probably one of the most reliable yet thirsty engines that Yamaha ever made. It's as close to bulletproof as possible. This is, you know, a non-direct injection engine. Um, so like the HPDI was their first direct inject engine. E-Techs are direct inject. Opti's are direct inject. This is old school. This is this is the kind that tends to smoke, burns a lot of oil, burns a lot of gas, but is ultra reliable. Stainless steel prop on it. I like this boat a lot. Um, I like it a real lot. There's the the VIN on it, as a lot of you point out. The first three are the the manufacturer Aqua, and it looks like it's a. Uh, 01 is that what this says it doesn't say but i'm gonna guess it's an 01 based on that you know a a boat not made anymore uh although aquasport is back in business but i don't think they've they've uh they've come back out with their uh with their walk arounds you can see a nice little hard top four rocket launchers up there and you know two antennas it's a vhf radio up there I'm curious what this would go for. I'm gonna guess 25 is what they'll have it advertised for. We'll, we'll like we did last time, we'll check their uh, website and see how how uh, right I am or wrong I am on the prices. We looked at this uh, Grady 18 on the last video. This one is a 208. This is the old overnighter. It's now called Adventure. Um, doesn't have a for sale sign on it. Let's check the other side. No for sale sign on it. Uh, I'll check their website, see if it is for sale. Uh, had a friend that had the 204 Overnighter, which again, is this model, but they changed the name to Adventure. Uh, very, very capable small boat. Little cutty in there. Again, a true walk around. Uh, plenty of space here for you to get to the front. We'll see if it's for sale.
If it is, we'll give the price. I'm not gonna speculate on this. I don't know. Looks like it's a 2000, but we'll confirm if it's on the website. All right, let's see if there's anything at Strong's in Mattituck. And yes, Aquasport is back in business. Here's their website, all new models. Um, they, they do play on their lineage going back to the 60s, uh, but no walk-around models. Their, their new models are limited to center councils and walk-arounds. But back to the boat we were looking at. It, it's actually a 2001 uh, Explorer, 19900 So I was way wrong on the price. And look, it's a clean-looking boat. I think that price is really good. I have one concern, we're going to see it right here coming up, and that's the engine hours. And, and it's going to sound a little counterintuitive, but the, the Port of Egypt site is saying only 113 engine hours, which I'd rather have a boat that's used um, rather than 113 hours on a 20-year-old boat that, that averages out to not many hours a year, uh, five hours a year or whatever, six hours a year. Uh, maybe it was rebuilt, I don't know, uh, but that was a little strange to me, but a really nice looking boat. And if you're curious, that uh, that Grady White 208 we saw right next to it, it is for sale, 22,500, it's a 2000. It has the same engine, and we didn't talk about it on the video, but it has the same exact engine that that Aquasport had. Again, I think this is in 2021, I think this is a pretty good price. Again, a very clean boat, older power, but reliable power. Um, yeah, it, it actually, my opinion, all the boats we've seen so far are priced pretty well. Uh, but just to even things off, let's let's move on to Strong's Marine and, and see what, what we found there. All right, I'm gonna start with this one. We might only do this one. This looks like it's the one true fishing boat here. There's a bigger one there, but let's limit it to one. I think we got enough boats for this video. This is, uh, this is a 300. It's a Yamaha F300 for two liter block. I'm going to guess this is a Pursuit 23. I forgot what the model is, 238 maybe. Uh, yeah, Pursuit, it's a 2021 Pursuit 238. I wonder if this is new. Let's see, is there hours on this? 105 gallons of fuel, 82 hours, so it is a used boat. Um, man, first thing I'm gonna say is 105 gallons. I wish this was a little bigger. It's a beautiful boat. Uh, flip up seat back there. Hard top electronics box up there. Four rod holders in the T-top. Little leaning post here. You can slide a cooler under there. Live well in the corner. They're about 21 degrees. Rounded hull. It's a beautiful boat. Really nice boat. It's like this uh, flag blue hull. Uh, not sure about the electronics. We'll see if the website says anything about that. We do have forward seating. It's got a windlass. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, can't see in. It's too high up. Let's see if we get a better vantage here. Hard to tell. Oh, clever layout for the, uh, I don't know if you can see it in the corner there for the uh, fire extinguisher. Under 26 feet, you only need one fire extinguisher. Nice little boat. What was the price? 100 something, right? 119 maybe? There's a tuna door here. You can come back here, service your engine. Uh, four rod holders here. One, two, two more rod holders. And the gunnels on each side. Is this a combo? No, this is just a cup holder. Let's see if we get the, if we have the price on here. 119,900. It's about a buck 20. 24. 4.4, uh, 4, 24 feet, 4 inches, uh, 8.6 is the beam, so this is legally trailerable almost anywhere. Uh, it's got the swing back seats here, uh, it's got another seat up here, it's got the little side door, the side door might be on the other side. Oh no, I see a hinge here, the side door, it's actually a front, a front entry. Not bad. And look, 199 for a 24-foot boat. Sounds crazy until you price new boats in 2021. Again, used boats are usually negotiable. Um, 
Point of reference are Cobia 256 that John Sweeney and I owned for three years. We bought it in 2016. Same engine, Yamaha F300. Uh, included a trailer. We paid 82.5 for it uh, back in January of 2016. Yeah, this is a, a, a forward head compartment. You see the handle right there. I tell you what though, this is a beautiful boat. And ironically, I mentioned the Cobia. Pursuit is owned by a company called Malibu Boats. And Malibu bought Maverick uh, beginning of 2021, I believe January 2021, $150 million deal, I believe. Um, so they are now the same parent company, owns Pursuit, owns Cobia, owns Maverick, owns Pathfinder. Um, so they're quality boats, well-made. You don't read a lot of bad things about them. Um, and unfortunately, we, we're, we're at that point in life where boat prices have gone crazy. Live well here. Nice little uh, rod, uh, not rod, knife, uh, hook holder. Very convenient, very well thought out. This looks to be stock from the factory. Clear lit here so you can see what's going on. I I'd imagine this boat tops out at about uh, close to 50 miles an hour with the F300. Well, this is definitely going to be the most expensive of the boats we looked at, but again, it's the newest. And, uh, you know, in terms of, you know, mid tier, lower tier, top tier, I wouldn't say Pursuit is top tier. It's not in the same class as Yellowfin, Freeman, Invincible. Um, but it's on the upper end of the mid tier. Beautiful boat. Uh, I like the sign. Perfect for this video. To you from Santa. All right, there we go, guys. And, and you know, I always say this, I'm not, uh, there's no quid pro quo with any of these dealers or, you know, any of the folks that offer these boats for sale. This is just for me, good content. It's something I really like. I love boats. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think in the comments uh, about these prices and uh, about the, the boats we picked for this video. Wishing everybody a very Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Holiday season and uh, looking forward to a more normal 2022. And a quick epilogue on this boat, because I know it's going to catch a lot of heat, 119,900. I want to put it in perspective. Those of you that watched my 25-foot comparison from the Stuart Boat Show in January of 2021, the Grady White that was for sale, Sands Electronics, Sands Trailer, was 176,000. And even though it's it's uh, labeled as a 25, it's basically the same size as this. I think it was 24 foot, six inches. This is 24 four and uh, eight foot, six beam. And that was $60,000 or $50,000 more roughly than this one. So again, it's the age we live in. It, it, we have to get used to the new normal where these name brand boats are selling for a lot more than we were used to. And I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you do like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please consider subscribing.